My friends, people thrive where there is mutual respect. Civilization is built on it, and futures are better for it. But coexistence must be made and made again in every generation. The common good is defended only by vigilance and action. And this means more than security measures. I would say that uh, the DJU family is mainly characterized by being a rich family. It's rich uh, by having uh, this great diversity. It's uh, a wide spectrum of beautiful colors, uh, of uh, different cultures and subcultures. Uh, I can see uh, students coming from different backgrounds. I can see the Jordanians, the Arabs, the Germans. They're all blended together in a very, very uh, harmonious and uh, healthy environment. Um, with all this uh, diversity, uh, I can see also a unity that is putting all together. And this unity is really based on uh, a common value system that they all share. Uh, they all believe uh, in GGU and the cause of this model. And uh, they are proud of it. They all have this sense of pride. Now, if we think about our internal environment at the university, it's an open environment. Uh, we have a wide range of uh, tolerance uh, to dialogue and uh, you know, different kinds of uh, discussions, as long as everybody is respecting the other. And uh, um, you know, as I said before, uh, this makes the beauty of the diversity within this whole system, you know, to, to, to become as, as, as unified within a respectable uh, value system. Four years ago, I came to Jordan from Rome to take over the position of Vice President International Affairs of the GGU. Prior to this assignment, I worked for 15 years in Rome with the United Nations as a director of a department at the Food and Agricultural Organization. Soon after my arrival in Amman, I learned that GGU does have a student's club called MUN. I was very happy to hear this and I got information about the activities of this club. This year I had the privilege to be present at least partly at your conference and I have to tell I am heavily impressed about the professional level of the work that our students are doing simulating the United Nations and all its very difficult work trying to help to build a better world, bringing the member nations of the United Nations together and discuss difficult issues related to all different UN activities. Model UN is a fast-growing activity for students. It might be just a passing activity for many, but for a great deal of us, it means more. MUN has given me the most amazing thing in life, passion. A passion to help the youth find their abilities. A passion to help equip young leaders and for their voices to be heard. And a passion to be the change we all desperately need. Many believe we are the leaders of tomorrow. I believe we are the leaders of today. Young people may lack resources, but they are very resourceful. As we move on into the next generation, leaders will be the ones who empower others, and that's exactly what we aim to in Model United Nations GJU Club. It was during the winter semester of 2014. After I saw the potentials we, the students, have at GJU, I envisioned a new vision for the, the MUN Club at the university. To my surprise, I wasn't the only one with the same vision. Hussam and I combined our visions together to combine the picture we had for GJU MUN. I must say, we couldn't do it on our own. If it wasn't for the hard work each committee member and board member had to do in our club, we couldn't have done it alone.
If we look at German Jordanian University 10 years from now and where it is today, we can realize that the university's vision is becoming reality. From that, we as students, we believe that we have the major role and responsibility of creating a better environment and a better society. And fr from that, we took the responsibility of creating the Model United Nations Club in our university. Uh, Ramzi and I, we had a new approach. So we met and we discussed the topic itself a lot. We created a team of seven people and we all gathered up together to come up with this great event. Our conference uh, consisted of 180 delegates from all around Jordan. We had 20 public and private schools and universities. Part of our mission was to distinguish us from other MEN conferences by providing students with a unique professional experience, ensuring that they would take part in high quality debates and come up with excellent resolutions. Out of the five assemblies that our conference compromised of, only students with previous experience were to take part in the main three, the Security Council, the Human Rights Council, and the General Assembly. The other two assemblies were reserved for those looking for a unique training opportunity. I would like to take this opportunity to thank UNICEF Jordan for providing us with all the support they have. Our team's mission as a whole went beyond MUN related activities. We wanted to equip and empower new generations of students that are knowledgeable in different aspects in life. The GGU MUN was the first conference to have a training and simulation assembly. What made this assembly unique is that it gave participants who have not participated yet in an MUN conference to participate and learn what an MUN is. It focused on three main parts. The first part was personal skills development, which involved speech writing, presentation skills and public speaking skills. The second part introduced them to the various bodies of the United Nations, how they function and how they interact together. Also a glimpse in the decision-making process. Last and not least, this assembly gave them a chance to learn on what it meant to be an MUNer, how they can do that also. It gave them a chance to learn how to write a speech and deliver it, how to draft a resolution and present it, and make their decisions based on their country's point of view, not on their personal point of views. Our aim as MUN Club is not only to hold conferences and debate sessions, but also give back to our society. We feel a sense of responsibility to give back to our community. Last Christmas, in collaboration with an international organization, club organizers and club members had the privilege of reaching out to two schools in remote areas in Madaba, where we distributed gifts on kids there. This year, we plan on establishing different uh, social initiatives where hopefully club members and organizers can participate in those initiatives. What we're aiming for this year is mainly three things. To increase the number of delegates who are participating in our conference, to increase the number of forums we're going to have in our conference, and the third and most important thing is to increase the social initiatives and community service events in our society. And I do encourage our GGU students to make an effort to show interest to the work of the MU and become a member and actively participate and learn a lot of good skills, not only related to the work of the UN, but also for your professional development.